I think it's a beautiful thing because the baseball game is one of the beautiful sports in the whole world. And I have a great respect for it from the past, from way beyond, before my time, and now. Sometimes you miss a lot of things, you don't like it, or you don't set it, you just look it. And like a good professor, you look and look, but you don't talk. You see what you don't like, but you keep it to yourself. And let somebody who be entitled to make the law be respected do that. In my case, I'm just looking around and keeping my mouth shut. Because they say, mouth shut, the bird it cannot get in. The fly cannot get in your mouth if you have your mouth closed. I just do it this way and think. But I think. A lot of things happen now. If I had back what he just asked me, something like that, that's beautiful. Because of those bring everybody double love each other, to respect each other. Mm-hmm. And I think the civil rights, it's not me to just put you away. No, we, human, we, an American, we, an American country, you know, that's make us get together. If we get together, love each other, respect each other, make the country be top and number one in the whole world, make those kids learn, know what we already know. They're going to learn something that we're not going to know what it is. Whatever you do now, we teach the Johnston. If you teach the Johnston, you respect to the fly, the country you are. And you have to say, God bless you, America, and God bless you, the flag of the United States of America, for the respect to the different countries. And I hope the whole world understand each other. And I hope we will not hit each other. I hope we will not kill each other, protect each other. And that's what I've been doing all my life. And the way I work in my organization, the White Sox, to the rest of my life. Just do the best I can to make those justice, love and respect each other. No making a different nationality. No making a different color. Not to look at that. Just look at what God gave us. Love, respect, and understand each other. And that's the reason I'm here today. And I want to thank you, you, this beautiful station, to give me the opportunity to say hello to everybody and to pray like I do. Pray for the whole world to understand each other. Stop and kill each other. Stop and hate each other. Play the game. Get your glove and go over there and make it the best you know how to make the justice. Be happy. And those justice, I want to tell you, stop it to be in the school to be knife. Nothing, they will not be able. Bring your pen, your book, and your brain. And when you in it, in class, you forget it for the baseball game or any kind of sport you like it. When you get out of there, you do your homework, and after that, you go over there and play the game. When you in a field, you concentrate in the field. When you in a school, concentrate in the school. And no lie to your mother. Tell the truth. Nothing for the truth to your mother because the mother does only have one. Father, we all can be father. Mother is only one. And I say, good luck to all those, all those kids to have a mother because I lose a mind when I was 12 years old. And every one to have a mother and every lady I saw, I just look like a cheer my sweetheart, like a cheer my mother. And that's what I gotta respect for every female because I saw everyone like a part of my mother. And to you, I had to say thank you very much to give me the chance to open my heart and tell, stop the sympathy. Change it now, stop the sympathy and give it credit to whoever we serve. And no way to die to recognize what kind of sport 
Eden, or human you are. 